All right, so posting a, a Twitter feed on Blogger, on a, blog on a Blogger site, is really easy because they have this really handy widget that's um, super easy to use. Now, what's a little bit more tricky is how to embed a Twitter feed into a Blogger post. Uh, why would you want one versus the other? Well, this happens to be a math website, and so anything math related, I, I would not mind to be on this permanent widget over here that shows up on every post. But if I specifically want to do um, a, a Twitter feed on a post that might not specifically be related to math, and I don't want everybody to see it all the time, I just want it to be attached to a specific post, that's why I would want to do that is embed in a specific post. For example, uh, let's say I'm gonna I suddenly got upset about the New York Yankees or something and I want to blog about it even though that's not the main point of my blog here. So I'm gonna make sure I'm in compose mode. A blog about the New York Yankees and uh, I'm gonna here is is where I'd write stuff about the Yankees all right and then I do more stuff and more stuff and more stuff and more stuff and now here is where I want the feed to go all right uh, so what I'm gonna do is I like to put the x x x x x x x because that's going to help me because at some point I'm going to have to switch over to HTML mode and people don't like HTML mode and so these X's right here help me identify where I want that feed to go so I'm going to go back into compose mode and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Twitter and I'm going to type in hashtag oops whoa hashtag Yankees all right, there's my hashtag Yankees, hit return, and it, here's my search here. And I'm going to go to More Options, Embed This Search. I'm going to click Create Widget, and that gives me this widget that I'm going to, down here, I get the code. And I'm going to highlight it, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go back into my blogger post right here. Now this is where I want the feed to go. Now. I'm not going to paste it like this because I'm in compose mode, so that's bad. So what I'm going to do is go to HTML mode, highlight that, click it. So now I'm in HTML mode, and you can tell because I see all the HTML coding there. And I'm going to highlight those X's, and I'm going to delete them, and I'm going to paste in the code that I had uh, copied from Twitter. And if I want, I could go to compose mode. And I'm not going to see what I want to see quite yet until I hit publish. Now, once I hit publish, not only have I posted the site uh, or the post, but uh, I'm also going to—I'm going to—I've saved it. Now I'm going to see my post, and here it is. It's thinking. It's thinking. It's thinking. And there it is. Oh, no, it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. You can see it's up here. So there it goes. And there is my post. And I've got the Twitter feed. Anybody who does a hashtag Yankees, it's going to start showing up on this. So, and you, in fact, you can see people have posted as of 22 seconds ago, 25 seconds ago. So what that's going to do is this post is going to be a living post in that Anybody who constantly uh, hashtags or who hashtags Yankees is going to update this post. So now, oh, in fact, look at that. It just showed up. Somebody just posted something there. So the idea is, here's my home page. So using widgets over here on the right, these are, are specifically like posts for my website in general, my blog post in general. But if I want something about specific uh, a feed that goes specifically to a specific post, blog post, um, I would do it this way. I would paste it into my post. 